I'd like to make a point when we're doing a supine hip flexor stretch at the end of the table, basically what's similar to a modified Thomas test orthopedic position here, is I have Justin lying his back on the table. He has to have his coccyx up at the edge of the table so that the thigh has room to drop down into extension. If the table blocks the excursion of the thigh in extension, we cannot stretch the hip flexors. Now here I stabilize his pelvis on the other side by using my hand against his distal posterior thigh and his foot against my clavicle. And I have a nice position here. Now, Justin is a dancer. He's very flexible, so I had to put the table quite high up. So you always have to adjust the height of the table based on the height and flexibility of the client. But now my point here is about how we can focus the stretch to one specific hip flexor, and the one we're looking at here is rectus femoris of the quadriceps femoris group of the quads. So rectus femoris is a hip flexor, and if his thigh drops into extension, as you can see here, theoretically all of the hip flexors get a stretch placed on them. But now if I want the rec fem to really get the force of the stretch, I need to then also stretch it across the knee joint. The rectus femoris is an extensor of the knee joint, so I will put the knee joint into flexion. So to do that, I reposition my feet, and I can simply do that. And when we do this and we ask the client where they feel it, they should be feeling it from the inguinal ligament area because the proximal attachment of rec fem is AIIS and just along the acetabular brim and coming straight down midline straight rectus femoris over the femur to attach into the patella and then down onto the tibial tuberosity. So we add in knee flexion and we preferentially stretch the rectus femoris muscle. Okay, I'll give you both your knees and you can just grasp them to your chest to just stretch your low back a bit. So whenever looking to target out one specific muscle of a functional group, think of all of its joints that it crosses, think of all of its actions, and try to get as many of its joint actions involved. If it's a flexor of the hip joint, extension of the hip joint. If it's an extensor of the knee joint, add in flexion of the knee joint. And that's how we can get the rectus femoris of the quads group.